guys welcome back to my channel this is Medea J and today's video is going to be a review of the Day Day Signature Strawberry Palette I'm also going to do um, a face of black owned brand so so we're gonna have some fun we're gonna play with the strawberry palette Day Day Signature is a fruit themed indie brand I have brought you some of their products on my channel before orange palette, their lip glosses, the kiwi palette and now today we're going to be using the strawberry palette for the first time. I do want to say if you hear drilling in the background I apologize I might have to mute all of this and do a voiceover because I haven't been able to record for the past couple of days because my neighbor is, is putting up a decking <laughs> so there's a lot of noise and drilling but hopefully my voice can stay in the video but yeah but yeah if you're interested in knowing more about the strawberry palette definitely make sure you hit the subscribe button so you know the next time I upload a video thumbs up this video and let's jump right in. As I said Dede Signature is a US based indie brand and they are a fruit themed brand fruit, fruit themed makeup brand so their eyeshadow palettes are fruit themed they have amazing lip glosses lipsticks and liquid lipsticks that are fantastic and now they've um and now they've reformulated their strawberry palette reformulated in the sense that um they removed the pressed glitter that was in the palette I love a brand that takes on constructive criticism and asks for opinions from their customers. So people voted that they'd prefer eyeshadow palettes without the press glitter. So they went ahead and took it out of their palette. So in effect, the strawberry palette is not a new palette. It's just um, the color story has been slightly tweaked. But this is the current color story of the eyeshadow palette. If I can find the original picture of the color story, I'll pop it on the screen. But there are a couple of things that have changed. They've introduced the green shade. I don't recall seeing a green shade in the eyeshadow palette. And the yellow has moved slightly. So the color story is slightly tweaked. And just to accommodate the new shade that's been added in. But it is still a very beautiful palette. This is what it looks like up close and personal. Just like the other eyeshadow palettes, you do get um, it in a packaging. Ingredients are written nice and bold at the back and it says four delicious strawberry varieties. You've got the brand's um, social media handles there as well. It's 12 months before it expires, it's cruelty free, it's recyclable packaging and again you've got the same thing at the back of the palette itself. It's a slide off eyeshadow palette. I know some people don't particularly like that. It's not the best for storage but um, for palettes like this I just keep them in the box because they're nice and square and so they just sit nicely on my in my um, storage. But yeah, it slide off and then you've got a mirror on this side and basically magnetic um, basically magnetic fittings just to keep the palette together. And you've got Day Day Signature slightly raised on the eyeshadow palette. Lovely graphic. It looks like a real strawberry. <laughs> That's one of the things that always impresses me. It looks like the real fruit. And the color story as well. I feel like the color story now to me... Um, it's very unique, very different. I wouldn't have expected to see like green and purple in this color story, but I appreciate that you need like some pops of color. If you're going for like the pinks, orange and strawberry and red kind of colors, and those pops of colors will blend really nicely with the um, bottom shades that are down here. So I do appreciate this color story now. I think just off the bat, the first thing I would say is I wish there was more shimmer shades in this palette. I've only got one shimmer shade and then you've got these matte shades that have like reflex glitter in them I can never understand what this formula is but I've seen it in a couple of other eyeshadow palettes so these two shades have like specks have like specks of color in them so they're not full-on matte um, but I will swatch them for you guys to see 
but you've only got one shimmer shade in this palette so i feel like it either should be a full matte color story or have more shimmers you know that kind of thing so yeah let me do some swatches and then we carry on Right, so I was going to bore you guys and do some swatches, but I realized on the website the brand owner's actually already done swatches of them on her skin tone, and she's similar to me, so I will pop her picture on the screen so that you guys can see what the shades swatch like, just so that we can get into testing this palette. Right, so I'm going to go ahead and do one eye off camera so that I can get my bearings right, and then I'll come back, we do the second eye, and I'll give you guys my thoughts as I am doing the look. So this is a look I came up with and I am highly impressed by the quality of this palette. So let's do the other eye. I'm going to go ahead and prime my eye and then we get to work. For primer, I'm using the ABH, um, what's this one called? The ABH Eye Primer because these are to me like pressed eyeshadows. So I don't want them um, like pulling on the eyeshadow. There they go again drilling. Primer's on, so I'm going to go in with a fresh shade. So I'm going to lay down the purple shade. It's the darkest shade in the palette. So I'm going to carry that from my outer corner into my crease a little bit and really pack it on. And then I'm going to go ahead and blend the edge of that with this. It's like a plum color. It's coming off quite pink on camera, but it's more of a, a plum as opposed to a pink color. Yeah, as I was saying, the quality of these shadows are really amazing. They blend really nicely and they work so well together.
So this is the finished look guys. Quickly to give you guys my final thoughts about the Daily Signature Strawberry Palette. I do love the new color story. I just wish there were a few more shimmer shades. The shimmer shade in this palette is very pretty. It's like that dull type of shimmer shade. Doesn't really pack too much of a punch but it's still very pretty nonetheless and it matches the eyeshadow colors in the palette quite nicely. I am a huge fan of their entire packaging, the entire theme. So the fruit palettes always get me and this one is one that I I fully highly recommend a hundred percent you can create so many beautiful looks this is perfect for spring summertime and you've got those nice deep I mean those pops of color just take this palette to the next level I did try the matte shade with the shimmer flex in it so it's great for on the lid type of shades as well if you don't want to go in with the shimmer shade but obviously you can pull shimmers from any other palette you can even use liquid eyeshadows so I still love the color story really really well I think the pigmentation is there I think the quality is there I think the blendability is there it doesn't um, I didn't experience too much fallout especially as they perform like pressed pigment shadows I was expecting to have like a full face of flow um, fallout but that didn't really happen so I definitely recommend this palette. If you guys haven't checked it out and checked out their other fruit themed palette definitely do. I do have a review of all of them to date. The orange, the apple, the kiwi. So I'll put all of them in the description box and also link them up in the cards. But yeah this one I just had to do because obviously it's the last one that was missing in my collection and I'm super appreciative that the brand sent it to me. So yeah you guys should definitely check them out. I do have a discount code with Dede Signature is Medea J and it'll get you 10% off. They do have a UK stockist as well. House of Clarivon, they stock Dede Signature and on that website you can get a 10% discount code by using my name Medea J at checkout as well. Let me know what you guys think about this look. Let me know what you think about the eyeshadow palettes. The lips that I'm wearing is their matte liquid lipstick in Void. I lined my lips with a brown lip pencil from True Glam, who is a black owned brand. And I love their matte lipstick formula. It isn't drying, doesn't tug on the lips, and it feels super, super comfortable. Hence why I feel okay not putting a gloss on it. You guys know I normally put a gloss on a matte liquid lipstick, but this one just performs really nice. It feels like I'm wearing powder on my lips, which is amazing. So. They definitely do have a good formula for their liquid lipsticks and also their bullet lipsticks. Um, I do lip swatch for them so I have tried basically all of their lipstick formulas and there isn't any that I don't like so definitely check it out. Um, my lips are on their website also on House of Clarivon so yeah I'm so happy to be working with this brand. Love the theme and I can't wait for whatever collection that they come out with next but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Would you pick it up? Do you like the fruit themed palette? What do you think about the color story? Let's have a little chat in the comment section. But yeah, Thank you guys so much for watching. If please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't i'll leave all my hair details in the description box below because this hair is uh, laying and yeah i'll catch you guys in a future video remember god doesn't like ugly be nice to someone today and black lives always matter and i'll see you guys soon